there's like so much can happen but i've got another thing i want to speak about right so got a new online client don't know if she listened to the podcast thing but she was like got a a dodgy disc in her spine right slip disc i, I can't rest i can't I, can't exactly remember but it's it's went it's like lost about its uh size right right and now she was talking to me i was like right, cool so it was an online client so i had to make her a super simple program and uh, she was like i can't squat and deadlift my physio and my chiropractors told me i can't squat and deadlift i was like don't believe them but yeah obviously i'm not going straight in and going i'm going to get you squat and deadlift so hard isn't it so you have to bite your tongue a lot when you get the the, the client so she came to me like she came for an actual in-person session and i was like great man i really want to go over everything so she came in and more talking about everything she says you've been doing a mobility day her shoulders feeling a lot better i was like tell me again what's happening with your spine so she told me and then she was telling me how she'd done her personal training and she just had them doing all the magic and she hurt i was like where did you hurt it in the gym i was like right let's reverse engineer this thing, right man. right right i was like so she told me i can't remember exercise i was like doesn't it actually matter what exercise i was like I want to see your squat, your hip hinge, and your brace, right? So I was like showing her how to brace, and I showed her how to properly warm up, so she, so everything was mobilised. I was like, right, let's go through this RDL. I says, right, so she was focusing on the brace, and she's like, oh, I've never done anything like that, right? So I'm like, straight away, she's never been bracing properly, so an XPT has never showed her how to brace. So I'm like, right, we're going to go super light. I'm going to, I'm going to focus on watching your form. Her toes were coming up on our RDL as well. So she's gone through her heels, mm-hmm. right? So a lot of load was getting took off her full foot. So once she started doing that and bracing properly, so she was only doing three kilo herself, right? And by the end of it, we had her doing 10 kilo on no the pain. I'm like, good. I want to see your squat. But and she was like, I bet hang me see the can I was like, ah, that doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Why a physio and chiropractor says you can not squat? What the fuck do you do when you stand up and sit down? Stand up, no, you squat. I was like, right, so you squat. You already did it. Mm. you just don't do it with weight so obviously if you've done it with weight then you would have you'd better performance to stand up and sit down in their life so i explained to her actually like, that does make sense so i so got her four kilo and i was like right today squat you're going to do the brace again and you're going to slowly hip hinge and you're going to open the hips so you're not just going to go down ah feels fine got her up to 10 kilo i was any pain no flying squats are flying i'm like cool go to your physio go to your pra- chiropractor and tell them to shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> and by the end of the session, right, I was like, look, I was like, I knew you could squat and deadlift, but I didn't want to get you doing it straight away. I wanted you to stay in your lane. I didn't wanted you? to ease you into it. Stay Build in Build trust. Build trust. Build That's tr- what it's all about. Exactly. And I was like, look, you're, you're fine with that. You could have went way heavier today. But what I do want you to understand is what you do have, obviously, she has a genuine issue with mm. a disc in her spine. You will need to go a lot slower in your progress on these lifts, absolutely, than most other people. Mm. That's all it is. I say the only thing you need to do different is loads manage a lot slower. Mm. I say is if, I w- if I'm going at 100%, you're probably going at about 30%. So I'm in a squat and deadlift. I'm making in three months what you're in a month what you're doing in three months. But that's fine. I would, I would argue against that. I would say. No, but even I'm saying that. I'm saying as a minimum. I know, but even her 30%, that's that's a better position to be in. Oh, I. Because think of the fatigue that you have to go through to get stimulated. Oh, no. I, 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 she can do 30%. <laughs> And get the reward from that. Absolutely. Like that's what I mean. And these are arbitrary numbers, obviously, but nothing infuriates me more than that. Uh-huh.